Thank you for being here with us at 11 o'clock. I'm Lorenzo Hall. Tonight, a search for two gunmen after three men are found shot to death. Police say they were killed in a very quiet southeast neighborhood late Saturday. Now, two of the victims were found in a car along Fort Davis Place. A third man was found lying in the street with multiple gunshot wounds. The mayor and D.C.'s police chief returned to that scene today with a message for neighbors. Here's Stephanie Ramirez. Richard Evans tells us he has a six year old. I mean, she doesn't understand what gunshots are. It's that quiet here. But Evans says his daughter knows he's upset. That's scary. Um, you have a triple homicide happening right across the street. You know, um, and someone getting out of the car running for their life up a hill and bleeding to death. I mean, that's that's not normal. That shouldn't be normal. That's what Fort Davis neighbors walked outside to Saturday evening. It was a little after 10 near Q and Fort Davis Place Southeast. D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser and Police Chief Peter Newsham returned Sunday, hoping to ease some nerves with their presence. The chief said then all three victims have been identified. All three are in their mid-20s, but none of them appear to have any ties to this neighborhood. It was very unusual to see what we saw out here last night. I have asked for more patrolling of police in this area. Please. This wasn't the only homicide seen this weekend. Earlier Saturday, police say a 59-year-old man was shot and killed in Northeast. Before Saturday, police recorded 14 homicides in 2019. That's twice the number of murders the city saw the same time last year. Explaining that to your family and having your family go through that and being scared and so forth. I mean, that's um, something that, you know, we need to change. And I, we can't have this. This is bad. I mean, this is... This is about as bad as it gets. In addition to the changes already in place, Chief Newsham said they're going to be announcing some new crime fighting measures soon. I asked if that would include curfews. He said no. In Southeast, Stephanie Ramirez, W USA 9. People are begging for change in the district. Hopefully we can find a workable solution soon. Now, there's a $25,000 reward for the person who can help lead police to an arrest. The mayor and chief also made another plea today for your help. They're asking you to call police if you know someone with an illegal firearm.